Welcome to Tech Diet. Let's dive into our today's problem, Beautiful Towers. It says you are given zero index array max height of an integer. You are tasked with the building n towers in the coordinate line. The ith tower is the built at coordinate i and has the height height psi. A configuration of tower is beautiful if the following condition holds. The height that you choose for that particular coordinate should be within the bounds 1 and the max height given at that coordinate. Heights is a mountain array. Mountain means like it should have some peak and before that peak it should all be in an increasing sequence or in the same height and after that pose it, it should be followed by decreasing sequence. So a mountain can be like just the increasing peak, just the decreasing peak. So there should not be any more valleys in between, any more peaks and valleys uh, once you have one single peak. So that is what they have mentioned here in terms of mathematics. So now let's look at this example. So these are given as the max height. So for this max height we say uh, can this act as a peak. If it act as a peak then the other should be decreasing. So it can't increase now it should be 3. It's uh, lower we need not to decrease it further. Here it was 4. Uh, so from 3 we are going to 4 that is the peak again so we'll move it with the lower one so we have added 3 so that will be our answer let's look at the next one so here we have 6 can 6 be a peak uh, it can can 5 be allowed yes it's less than 6 3 be allowed it's less than 5 9 can be allowed no it's, it should be either 3 or less than 3 so let's put it 3 we need the maximum height 2 is allowed 7 is not allowed 2 will be allowed so this is in regard when 6 is the peak so when 5 is the peak we can say okay 5 is the peak before that it should be less than or equal to 5 and it should be less than why it should be less than because it should be within this constraint whatever the height i choose it should be the max less than the maximum height uh, less than or equal to the maximum height it was earlier so this 5 is a peak so 3 is still fine uh, 3 is fine here so now 2 will be fine i can't increase it so 2 will be fine so that is another sequence that we get next we have if 3 act as a peak so this can be 3 this can be 3 this can be 3 there should be 3 this should be 2 this should be 2 so that is when 3 act as the peak when this 9 act as the peak then it should be 6 is fine uh, so let's start with the corresponding 9 and post that 2 is fine 2 is fine but before that we have a 3 here so we should have a 3 before that as well 3 before that as well because it can't have multiple peaks in between so that will be our configuration now if 2 act as the peak so we should be 2 is the peak next should be can be similar before could be similar could be 2 it could be 2 it could be 2 so that will be the first one configuration when 2 is acting as the peak when 7 is acting as the peak so rest all will again become 2 because before that it should not be any in between uppers and lowers so out of this this configuration is the greatest one uh, it has a height of 22 so we'll return this 22 so let's look at another test case where we have 5 2 4 4 when 5 act as a peak we can say 5 then 2 then 2 then 2 when 2 act as a peak we can say this should be 2 2 2 2 when 4 act as a peak we can say this can be 2 this can be 2 4 4 again when the other 4 act as a peak we can still say 2 2 4 and 4 so here the answer is
12 right so when this 4 or this 4 is acting as the peak we'll return 12 so that will be our approach we'll find the we'll treat each index as the peak and then we'll go on uh, assigning heights so that it forms this uh, mountain structure uh, descending from keep on going and increasing from the left side if it has so let's try to simulate this so we'll have our index is equal to zero index less than max heights dot size index plus plus so we'll treat each index as the peak so if this is a peak let's find what is the maximum for this index for this maximum height will be the given height at this point that is my peak and then i can also pass this max height so whatever the sum that we get out of this the maximum and the current maximum so let's initialize the sum variable let's create a new function the current max sum given for this index for this max peak height and given my list of pipes so i'll be saying let's say the sum will be this maximum element the peak element should be included and let's add a temporary sum here which will be as of now the max we can say for index minus 1 till it's greater than 0 so this is the left side of the peak it should be a decreasing sequence so if my max height dot get at this index is less than and equal to the temporary max then i can add this to my height as it is so imagine we have a scenario like this 9 so 3 is less than 9 i can add 3 i don't need to modify this height so then my temporary max will be updated to whatever i have fetched now otherwise if it is greater then i can just add the current max what it was and i need not to update this temporary max so similarly the same thing i need to do once i am in the decreasing zone uh, the right zone and it should be less than the max heights dot size so for this again my temporary max will be initialized to the max and now i'm at nine so the lower one the next one is if it's less than nine it should be fine otherwise i need to replace it with nine or the number below that so this will give me the corresponding sum if the given index is the peak let's try to run it So this is called max height.
we are not returning anything we need to return the sum okay let's try to hit submit yep so this is accepted so here what we are trying to do we are one by one checking each corresponding index as the peak and the by satisfying our criteria it should be a mountain all decreasing from the left side all decreasing from the right side if it has to be decreased it should be if it's already less than we'll just add the corresponding sum if it's not less than we'll add the current maximum so that the length the height remain the same yep thank you